at 13 Demon Street. I am condemned to live here, to suffer on this earth forever, as a punishment for my crime. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. <laughs> but should I find a crime more terrible than mine, my punishment will end. Now you come with me. To Rome. To Antonio Martinelli. This studio hasn't brought luck to anybody ever. I'm glad you're getting out of here. And who would ever find you here in the back of the garden? You should have a shop on the Via Veneto. A shop on the Via Veneto? I can't even pay the few lira for this place. The priest told me I should bring you to church, and then he'll help drive out the devil, which prevents you from having good luck. Who really believes in this kind of witchcraft? Oh, Father Valerio has proven he can drive out bad luck. Do you remember Flavio? <laughs> Everything went wrong with him until he went to church and Father Valerio got rid of the demons. This is the 20th century, Serafina, not the Middle Ages. Times don't change. Only we do, Tonio. The truth doesn't change either. If you believe, you'll be saved. That's all that's necessary, to believe. I don't even believe I can find a few lira to pay for a small room. Well, I'm making enough. You can sleep on the sofa in the living room. For how long? Until you find a job and you can rent the shop on the Via Veneto. And then we'll get married. Tonio, why don't you let Father Valerio help you? I'm sure somebody's cast the evil eye on you. Father Valerio can get rid of the bad spell. Please, Tonio. I don't believe in witchcraft. I don't believe in the evil eye and demons. All I believe in is a job. Then I'll prove how good I am. You don't want to be helped. <laughs> Come tonight for dinner. If I don't see you, I'll die. I love you. You know why? <laughs> yes, because Mother is a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, don't kiss me again. It isn't good for me. Why not? Well, it, it heats me up too much. Don't be late. I won't. Come in. The door's open. Signor Antonio Martinelli. I was looking for an architect, a man who could also furnish a house for me. And I saw your sign on the garden door. I was just uh, rearranging my office. What can I do for you, Signor? Otto Carl Potosi. Count Otto Carl Potosi. You may be able to help me. I have a request which might be in your line. I did those designs for an ultra-modern house. I always say an architect doesn't need to live in the house he's building. It isn't about building a house. It isn't about architecture at all. No. I want you to find certain objects. You must know every antique dealer in Rome. I know some. This room once existed. Its furniture has been sold, dispersed, disappeared. I want you to find it, especially the mirror. I'm glad you didn't ask me to find a lady. A woman of such beauty is rare. I'll try to find you the furniture, sir. 
And the mirror, Signor Martinelli. I don't care so much about the chairs and tables. It is the mirror. Of course, that will be difficult and time-consuming and costly. Don't worry about the expense. You will be well paid for your time and effort. You may use freely the money you find in that envelope. But I must have the mirror. I'll do my best. But where can I get in touch with you? I shall be back when you have found the mirror. I hope it isn't too late to see you. You're speaking to a man who cannot sleep. Come in, come in. What can I do for you? Oh, show me an overstuffed couch made of down and very, very comfortable. A couch? Yes, to lie on. Tonio is dragging me tonight through every antique shop. Uh, make yourself at home, signorina. <laughs> May I offer you a glass of wine? Anything, anything, as long as I don't need to get up. <laughs> Have a look at this old photo, Marty. must find the furniture on this photo, especially the mirror. A Strozzi chair, a refactory table, Florentine candle holder, 16th century. Those I have. The Venetian mirror. I need the mirror. Yes, Venetian. Uh, 17th century. About uh, two meters high. Gold frame. The design, late Renaissance. You have it? What do you need it for? For yourself? What would I do with a monstrous thing like that? A client came to me. He wants to furnish a room exactly as you see it here. What is his name? Count Otakar Potosi. Now, does this help us find the mirror? Do you know him? No. But I remember the name. All right, so you remember. Do you remember where I can find the thing? What makes you so sure the mirror still exists? Don't be hedging around. Just because I happen to want a mirror like that doesn't make it a priceless treasure. Just because I happen to like you, Signor Tonio, and your beautiful young Signorina. Come with me. in your shop dozens of times. I never saw it. You never looked for it, Signor Tonio. I can't believe it. You should have come to me in the first place before you shopped around. I once bought many pieces from Count Potosi's home. This was one of them. I can't get that tarnish off. Look, it must have been standing in the rain. The man wanted a mirror. He didn't say it had to be clean. Let me drink to the mirror. We see time's furrow on another's brow, and death entrenched preparing his assault. How few themselves in just that mirror see. Hello? Oh, Count Potosi. May I congratulate you, sir? I found the mirror. Oh, I bought it. It's here in my studio. Why don't you come over? Soon? Well, any time, any time. Thank you, Count Potosi. 
That was Count Potosi. Oh, I'd like to meet him. Is he rich? You should have asked him to bring a few bottles of us, Steve. He'll be here any moment. Let's clean up. I'm very curious as to what he looks like. You'll meet him later. Why are you so excited? What's all the mystery about? Do me a favor and get out, will you, and quickly. I'll see you tomorrow. You don't love me. Please, no argument. Not now. I don't know if I have time for you tomorrow. Please, no scene tonight. Come on, Serafina. Good night. Enchanting and flattering. Do you really love me? Yes, I do, yes. For months now you locked your door. I didn't know any more if you were my wife. But now all that seems to have changed. I have my moods, Otto. Please forgive me. And now your mood is to love me. It isn't a mood. I'm your wife. You know, I'm a jealous man. My jealousy knows no limits. It might be conceit that I don't want to be made a fool of by my wife. Or it might be that I love her more than anything, more than life and death. Yes. I would never forgive you. Never.
Hello? Hello, Serafina? Antonio. Yes, it's me. Serafina. Antonio, are you all right? Yes, yes, but... but Tamira. What, what is it? It's alive. What did you say? You told me about that priest who can drive out the devil. Yes, but, but I, I didn't mean it. You were right. I need him. No, no, not for me, but I need him for... For what? For the mirror. I need him for the mirror. The mirror? Bring him right over. Right over. Tony! Transparent, and I saw him. You saw who? Potosi. And a woman he called Elena. And the man who died in the cupboard. Ah, the cupboard. I located it for you if you want it, Signor Tony. No. Did the mirror play tricks on your nerves? Tricks? Uh, if we could only know what these old pieces have seen of unhappiness. Terrors and fears. But I saw it. It was no illusion. Potosi kept a man locked in a cupboard. And the man suffocated, and she... She opened the door of the cupboard, and her lover fell out dead. I saw it, Monty. I did. I know what I'm talking about. I saw it with my own eyes. Yes, yes. Calm down. Please do. But what is it, Monty? What is it? Am I... Insane? No, I don't think you are. Then what was it? I've lived among old furniture all my life. They have their history, Senior Tony. And when you take them into your home, you also invite their past to live with you. What are you talking about? Did you hear voices in the mirror? Yes, and I saw murder. I had that dream very often. A dream? How could it have been a dream if I was standing on my feet? And I've never even seen these people before except Potosi. And when I saw Potosi, he looked 30 years younger. Will you please listen to me for a minute, Signor Tonio? Please. Don't be afraid anymore. That's easy to say. The mirror was a witness to a murder. Of course it was. For years. I've tried to explain to myself things which we call supernatural. I found an answer. They are ghosts. Call them ghosts? Created by your imagination. Imagination? I know what I have seen with my eyes. Our visual impressions are created in our brain. You, Signor Tonio, have a fine receiver, like a, a, a radio. Don't talk nonsense, Monte. The crime was committed in front of the mirror. The murdered man left some of his energy engraved on the glass. You, a sensitive young man, relived the moments of his terror. You saw the ghosts. I did, believe me. Energy cannot be destroyed. It takes on different shapes, different emanations, I don't like the emanations of this desk. I hate this old piece here, and I don't know why. I dislike the mirror. I knew that there was something evil dwelling in it, though only you, sensitive, suggestive, transformed its evil emanations into sound and vision. 
This is my explanation for so many ghost stories. Ghosts, Signor Tonio, exist only for the sensitive. You can't be hurt by them if you don't allow terror and fear to hurt you. You were alive. The antics of the dead cannot harm you. Thank you, Monty. Dismiss the evil ghosts from your mind. And if they should come again to haunt you, remember that they are only spirits that dwell in your brain. Evil spirits. Don't permit them to harm you. I won't. Good night. Thank you, Monty. Forgive me, the door was open. No one answered when I rang, so I entered. You did good work finding the mirror. Did I? What's the matter? You look a trifle upset. I saw Mario die. Mario? What are you talking about? You drove Elena to insanity. Elena? What do you know about Elena? Ask the mirror. It might tell you. It told me. The mirror? You killed Mario. Where is Elena? Is she dead? You want this mirror, the only witness to your crime. I'm an old man. Why should I lie to you? Your crime is still haunting you. Yes. It is haunting me. I've been punished by my memory for years. I want to find peace. I will find peace. I needed this. The mirror. The witness I must destroy. Peace. 